Let's get on up in here. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Let's run it up. Let's get it cracking. Y'all already know. Come on up in here. Let's get this ism. <sighs> top of the top to everybody. Top of the top to everybody. Top of the top. Nice and sunny. Saturday. Today is Saturday. Excuse me, I'm looking a little grimy right now. I'm finna go get myself together, but I had to make this live before I go get dressed and take care of my business. I had to make this live. Y'all come on up in here, hit the like button. When y'all come up in here, y'all already know. You know what I'm saying? Peace and blessings to everybody. Salute, y'all already know. Neighborhood to the neighborhood. Shout out to the hoods, the trades, the bloods, the gangsters, the pyros, Long Beach, Compton, Watts, all the way to Dago, all the way up north, Sacramento, Oakland, Fresno, all the way down south. Shout out IE, Hawthorne, Inglewood, Gardena, the east side, the valley. Shout out the whole California. Shout out Texas, Alabama, Chicago, Mississippi, New York, Florida, everywhere. Portland, Detroit, Chicago. Shout out everybody. Salute. Peace and blessings. Welcome to Curbside TV. If this your first time coming here, I am your host, S-Bone. You feel me? Protect your energy at all times. Keep a smile on your face. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy yourself. I'm a little buzzed right now. I'm high right now. I'm feeling myself. But let me get into it. Okay. Yesterday, I made a video uh, reacting to uh, Money Sign Sway getting killed in prison, right? Now, I'm going to make sure I choose my words right because I want to be able to cover everything. I don't want to miss nothing or forget nothing. So y'all just bear with me. Hit the like button. Just bear with me. Let's turn up. Roll your blunt and let me land. Listen to what I'm saying. All the Mexicans, everybody, y'all just listen to. Yesterday, I made a video. I was responding to Money Sign Sway getting killed in the pen, right? I was speaking on how certain things go in, in prison as far as with the Mexicans and all that old shit. I was giving my opinion. You feel me? You know, I'm on YouTube just like everybody else on YouTube, right? But what I'm seeing is just because of whatever, you feel me, people got a problem with, with the stuff that I said or the video that I made, you know what I'm saying? But I hate to, I hate to be like, you feel me, black, black, no trading back, but we on YouTube, you feel me? It's been a lot of black people that's been getting killed, celebrities, you know what I'm saying? All different type of people. And we get on here and people make videos and reactions and all that. You know what I'm saying? All racists do. I'm talking about the racists that's on this YouTube shit. You feel me? If we reacting to shit and, and whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their lane. Everybody got their own little type of forte, how they articulate their message or whatever it is that they, that they trying to do. Me, myself, I ain't on here perpetrating a fraud trying to be nobody else. I'm myself, period. I'm going to speak my mind, and that's just what it is. You feel me? You know, uh, maybe that's maybe that's my gift and curse. My, that's my Achilles heel because I'm, I'm kind of like a straightforward type of person, but I'm respectful. You feel me? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't come off or mean to come off disrespectful to nobody. You feel me? You know, as far as the Mexican and their politics, I don't know their politics. You feel me? I'm not a Mexican. You feel me? The shit that I'm... Speaking on and shit that I'm saying is from me being in jail, from me being in prison. That don't mean I know they, they politics, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I don't expect them to get on here and, and whatever, just be transparent, you feel me? Kudos to them, you feel me? Ain't nobody even trying to infiltrate y'all politics. Really, a nigga don't care about them politics, you feel me? Because... My thing is this, not only do I want my black people, my young black people to live a long, good life, you feel me? I want the Mexicans to live a good life too. 
You feel me? The Mexicans, the Mexicans is our people. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I grew up with Mexicans. You feel me? We, we going to the same store. We going to the same food. We going to the same school. You know what I'm saying? We around each other and all that. Like, Mexicans ain't like no motherfucking aliens or some motherfucking foreign object or something that I ain't never seen in life or something. You know what I'm saying? Mexicans is my people too. You know what I'm saying? Period. You feel me? They part of the 12 tribes and all that, but that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day. You feel me? But Mexicans, they are people too. It's not my fault if you illiterate and don't really know nothing about as far as the races, where we come from and all that. That's that's not my fault if you don't know that. You feel me? I'm not on here to uh, smear the Mexicans or smear the black people or smear nobody. I don't, I don't come on here for that. You feel me? But I felt some type of way. The young nigga got killed. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not on here going into details. Uh, uh, you know, as far as I know, I, I know what happened. I wasn't there, but I got, man, I, come on, man. I know niggas in the pen too. I know niggas right there in Solidarity. You feel me? I, I know what happened. Quote unquote, but that's besides that's besides what I was saying in my whole message yesterday. You know what I'm saying? My whole message is for all the all the motherfuckers that's behind the wall and shit. Cause just because they messing it don't mean they with the bullshit. You got black motherfuckers that's with the bullshit too. You got black motherfuckers that be calling bullshit plays, that be doing bullshit and all that. Them niggas just because them niggas is in jail don't mean we gonna just forget about these niggas. Don't mean we just gonna be out here living like like we don't got homies and people that's in jail, like living and shit and, and dealing with whatever the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? So nigga, if you nigga, we gonna always be part of that. No matter how long you be on the street. See, a lot of you niggas, y'all get out, y'all be on the streets forever, and and, 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 and y'all mind just change and shit. You feel me? Nigga, I'm always programmed out, period. Point blank, nigga. My map rolled up right now. You feel me? That's a figure of speech, but I'm saying I'm always programmed out, period. You feel me? Nigga, I've been out knock on wood, nigga, like 10, 13 years. You feel me? Nigga, but nigga, you, you would never know it, nigga. You would think I just got out yesterday, nigga. That's me. I don't expect everybody to be like me. You feel me? I don't expect nobody to, to do what I do. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? My thing is for the young life. The young life. Y'all always be hollering about the community and, uh, you know, the ghetto, you want to help and all that. Y'all not helping. Y'all not helping because you keep, you, nigga, because you're scared to speak up and say what it is. You feel me? Period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? This is the only way that you're going to help the youth. They got to hear it and see it. Handing out backpacks and, 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 and jobs and money, that's not going to change nothing. That don't change nothing. You got to exercise with people as far as verbally. You got to have conversations, man. You got to talk to people. You got to bring it out of them, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to really get into people's brain because everybody come from a different upbringing and their mentality and their mind is different. But I don't expect everybody to have the same mentality or the mouthpiece that I have. You feel me? I'm not getting on here trying to sweet talk nobody. I ain't trying to gain no friends or none of that. And I definitely ain't trying to be disrespectful to nobody, period. I'm the only YouTuber on here. I shout out everybody. Me. I'm the only YouTuber on here. I shout out everybody. Crips, Bloods, Hoovers, Southsiders, North Daniels, Bulldogs, all that. I'm the only YouTuber on this motherfucker that do that. So, first of all, figure that out. You know what I'm saying? I'm the only nigga on here that do that. Nigga, I shout out everybody because I know the game. I know the game. Everybody want to be this and that. This group higher than this. This gang higher than that. No. Nah. I come and put them all on the same even playing ground. We all on the same field. All the gangs, all the races, we all on the same playing field. We ain't on no different levels. We ain't on nothing. We all on the same playing field. I don't care how much money you got, how much money you don't got, period. You you, know, you feel me? Yeah, you know, that was messed up what, 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 what happened to Money Science Sway. But what I'm doing is I'm shaking y'all brains up. Let's just keep it real. I'm shaking y'all brain up. You feel me? I'm shaking y'all brain up because, nigga, like I said, I'm black, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we, we can do whatever we want to do as long as we ain't being disrespectful and being in motherfuckers' business and all that, nigga. And, and last time I checked, nigga, this is YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Whatever's posted on this motherfucker, nigga, we going to respond to it and we going to make videos about it, period. You feel me? 
you motherfuckers just can't handle the truth, man. Straight like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I I wasn't I wasn't getting on here to pump fear into the Hispanics or paint this picture or whatever the shit that they trying to say. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But the truth don't need no help, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. You feel me? Period. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm on YouTube. I'm making videos, and that's what it is. You feel me? And I'm going to stand on that. You feel me? All the old people, I don't care if you black, Mexican, whatever. Y'all supposed to be trying to make sure that this young life live. I see a lot of people say, oh, he, he should have been laced up, and, you know, people should have. So who, so who do that fall on? If y'all saying he was supposed to be laced up by somebody, that means whoever was around him older didn't lace him. So is that his fault or is that the people that's around? So once again, all you old motherfuckers, Mexicans and blacks, you niggas need to stand on what you're saying. If y'all really want to help the youth, y'all need to be in their ear. That's what you need to be doing. You need to be in their ear and they need to see that you really meaning what you're saying. See, the difference between me and y'all I always been like this. That's the difference between me and y'all. I always been like this on my mama. Nigga, if I was on YouTube being a whole nother nigga, nigga, my homies would be all on YouTube, social media, like, nigga, that nigga bone line, nigga. Nigga, that nigga, that nigga be talking about fuck these niggas and woo-woo and all that. I always been like this. I always been for my people and I always been for peace. You feel me? I always been for my people and I always been for peace. You feel me? Period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? I love all races. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of however they feel about me or my peoples or whatever, I love all races. I'm a black man. You feel me? We can't be, we not raised to be uh, presidents against another race. So you can't, a black nigga can't even be presidents. If anything, he might be presidents against some other black nigga, but we can't even be presidents. So that's not even in our DNA. So when I get on here, and I say what I said, I'm pleading. I'm pleading with, with the people that y'all answer to. That's what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I know this is a dangerous game. You know what I'm saying? So basically, they want to kill me, quote unquote, because I want them to let the young life live. So kill me because I want the young life to live. You know what I'm saying? Well, then I'd rather die then for all the young generations so they can live good and have a decision and a choice. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? People, people, people don't have to be like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm always stand on that, bro. I'm going to stand on that. I ain't in nobody's business. Whatever they politics do, that's what they politics do. I don't know they politics. I know enough of it, but I'm not going to go into that shit on here. You know what I'm saying? But it, that just shows that the shit that I said ruffled a lot of feathers, you feel me? And really, you know what I'm saying? The shit that I said, they can't say. But I don't I don't say that as a derogatory or disrespectful type way. Nigga, I know Southsiders, nigga. Nigga. And, 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 and let me say this to my boy Dove, because he, even though he said my name not in a bad way, you know, he said something about the Serenios and the Northanians basically saying it's a difference and all that. Let me say something, Dubs. I know it's a difference between all that. You feel me? I know it's a difference between having a 13 and having the SUR on you. I know it's a difference between that, bro. But in layman terms, you and I both know what I was saying by that. You feel me? I wasn't necessarily talking about a gang member or somebody that's from up north or down south had to be a gang member. You know exactly what I was saying. You feel me? If you was born down this way, down south, you feel me? You you from down south. That don't mean you a south sider. Like, you know exactly what I'm saying. You feel me? So don't try to insinuate or, or put on extras and stuff. You feel me? Because what I said is facts. You feel me? If, if I'm a black nigga. If I'm born in Oakland or Fresno or Stockton or Sacramento, and I'm from up north. I'm from up north, right? Hello? So that's all I was saying. Not really so much as on the gang level. And see, that's the thing. Y'all looking too far into my words and shit, trying to like, you know what I'm saying, dissect them and really, I ain't talking about no gang shit, you feel me? Everything that I was talking about was purely about pedestrians, you feel me? As far as like, you know, being in California, up north, down south type shit, and, and certain shit as far as how to, I didn't say nothing that no other Mexican ain't said no, no here as far as the program. 
When they come in, they ask you, is you a homie or whatever? That's what I said. I didn't say, I didn't go into all the other shit, you feel me? As far as doing the background check with the phone and all that shit, that's regular shit. Every nigga in jail do that. You feel me? We check paperwork. We make calls to the hood, see what's going on. That's regular shit. That ain't rocket scientists. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing like you feel me. Top secret. So, 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 so I don't know y'all politics. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I know our politics. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And our politics, we got a certain guideline and a certain code, and we could do certain shit. And you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. I I say a little small one. We won't get we won't get reprimanded. We won't get reprimanded by not rolling our mattress up. Depending on where you at. Is that a serious politic? Is that like, ooh, he says you roll the mat up? No, stop it, bro. Stop putting the 10 on it, man. You know what I'm saying? I love structure. That's why all the essays that I know. They, they some type of people from their hood, you feel me? I love structure, you feel me? I'm a nigga that's, that's from structure, you feel me? That's my name, Dark Politics. That's my other name. I am a politicker. I'm a nigga that always politic, nigga, in the hood, on the streets, county jail, wayside, in prison, nigga. Politic, nigga. I been in them huddles, you feel me? I been in them little packs listening or speaking or depending on what was going on. I'm just not no young nigga. I'm just not a nigga just talking out his, out his neck. And I'm not on here to disrespect the Mexicans or them people, nigga. I didn't even I didn't even put put them people out there like that. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm not on here to disrespect them. You know what I'm saying? I'm on here to shed life to the youth. You know what I'm saying? Basically, nigga, don't go to jail, nigga. Don't be part of no gangs and shit. You feel me? Like I said, I'm the only YouTuber on here to shout out everybody on this motherfucker. Crips, Bloods, Hoovers. You think my homies like that? Nigga, I'm a neighborhood Crip, nigga. You think niggas like that I be shouting out Hoover's nigga? Hell no. Nah. But do ask me, do I care though? Ask me, do I care? Cause can't no nigga tell me what to do, nigga. As long as I ain't got the hood looking backwards and I ain't doing nothing to sell my soul, can't no nigga tell me nothing, nigga. I'ma do what I wanna do. I'm a grown man, period. That's the difference between this side of the tracks and that side of the tracks. And you get what I'm saying. I don't mean like it is what it is. Like, you feel me? It is what it is. You feel me? Just take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. And don't take it as like I'm trying to be disrespectful because I'm never trying to be disrespectful. I mean, I'm not on here for that. I'm the only, like I said, I'm the only YouTuber that shout out everybody. You know, Daniel, South Cyrus, Bulldogs, nigga, everybody in California, all the states, everybody. Me, I'm the only YouTuber that do that. Now you starting to see some of them try to start doing that, but no, nah, it ain't genuine. I'm like, damn, I'm getting all type of DMs and you know, different people feeling some type of way, and they like, oh, that's bone. Why you in Mexican politics? I'm not in Mexican politics, bro. You feel me? At the end of the day, blacks and Mexicans, nigga, we the same, nigga. Nigga, I'm from South Central LA, nigga. I grew up with Mexicans, nigga. Mexicans live next door to me, downstairs, went to school with them. Nigga, we go party, all that, nigga. I, nigga, I grew up with Mexicans, nigga. They ain't like no foreign object like I ain't ever seen them. Nigga, these is my people, period, point blank, nigga. When we go to jail, we understand what's going on in there. Them is different. It's different politics, a different world. But out here on the street, you feel me? It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you're going to have different shit, different places and all that, but it's all good for the most part. You feel me, nigga? I fuck with Mexicans the long way. I love Mexicans. Always have, nigga. And just because a lot of these people on YouTube and they feelings, that ain't, that ain't going to change nothing. You feel me? That ain't gonna change nothing. But just know that S Bone, nigga, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't coming with disrespect or none of that, nigga. It's all respectful. Trust that. How we doing up here? Already, yeah, I see. Cool boy, what up with it? How we doing here? How we doing here, y'all? In here, what's up, neighborhood, bro? Bro, man, what's the deal? Who they are? What's up with it, homie? Much love to everybody who ever tapped into this motherfucker, man. I appreciate y'all, man, but I just wanted to make this video real quick before I get dressed. You feel me? It's all respect with me, man. It's all respect on my mama, man. I tell you no lie, you feel me? I'm a respectful nigga, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Don't take what I'm saying in disrespect. 
Of course I understand the politics. You think I don't know? I'm 46 years old, man. I had a P number, not a we number. Let me say that again for, for that the people that went over their head. I had a P number, not a we number. You feel me? So I understand the politics and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm nigga, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I got people that's right there uh, where that nigga was at, where that shit happened. I heard what happened and shit. You feel me? I ain't going into that. That's a whole other shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? We already know. You know what I'm saying? Dub said make a video on why he was dead in the shower for that long. We already know why he was in the shower that long, nigga. Nigga, because the Johnnies, nigga. You already know. The Johnnies, nigga. They part of all that shit. You already know. Stop playing. But that's a story for a whole other day. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, protect your energy, man. People will try to keep you off your square at all times, bro. Protect your energy. Stay focused, man. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. If you really for the youth and for the young people, then you're going to be in their ear. You're going to be talking to them. You're going to be hollering at them all the time. You're not going to be walking past them. You're not going to be not paying them no attention. You're going to be talking to them young niggas. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you're black or Mexican. You know what I'm saying? Talk to that young you. You feel me? You want them not to go down the same road that you did? You got to stay in their ear. You got to stay talking to them. You got to be on them at all times. Even the ones that's already from a gang. Just because they from a gang don't mean, you feel me, it's a wrap. You can still tell their ass to kick back and take care of their business and all that. We already know they're going to do what they want to do. But the question is, what is your intentions? Do you really got good intentions for the youth, like you say? Because if you did, you, you know, you're going to still, you're going to do what I say. You're going to holler at them, talk to them, and be like that, bro. And you're going to lead by example. There's too many people up here, man. Hit that like button. Over 100 people up here. Hit that like button, bro. Let me catch my ear. Hit that like button. But I definitely don't mean, mean no disrespect to the Mexicans at all. What I, what I would say is that hit the like button. Y'all over here rubbernecking this shit. Stop rubbernecking. Y'all over here like, what else going over there talking about? Hit the like button and get your dog ass up out of here. I ain't making no noise. Get your ass up out of here. Hit the like button. So I get in that algorithm. But yeah, though, one thing about California, California is its own beast. It's its own monster. California is a hot mess. California a hot mess, man, for real, for real. You feel me? So... Shit that going on out here, man, it's like crazy, inconceivable. You know what I'm saying? But this is our home. This is what this is all we know. This shit is like second nature to us. People that's from out of town, y'all don't y'all don't understand, y'all don't have no clue. You know what I'm saying? If I if I could suggest or say anything like I did yesterday, it would be for the blacks, the bloods and the crips, the essays, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? To really, I'm talking about the people that been in the game to really change the narrative, bro. You know what I'm saying? Really change the narrative. Because if you if you been in prison, we all been on that yard, bro. We all had these conversations with niggas that been down forever, walking laps, chopping it up, talking about what we gonna do when we get out, this and that and all that. Sometimes it take us a gang of times to go to prison to get it right. Sometimes it take motherfuckers one time, you feel me? But at the end of the day, we all know what the end result is, right? So while we on the street, we supposed to be putting good energy in the air, putting the truth in the air, not trying to slander nobody, you feel me? That's how you change, but everybody want to feel like they want to be one up on everybody. And that's the problem. Everybody want to have one up on everybody. You know what I'm saying? This ain't about, uh, this ain't about black, Mexicans, politics, and none of that. This about do y'all really care about the young youth? That nigga was 22. Money sign was 22. So that means he was born like 2001, 2000. How many young people we done seen get killed already? How many young people they done got killed? They in their 20s already. You feel me? A lot. So they was born in the millennium and died fast, bro. Like when I was young, back in the 90s, I know a gang of young niggas that got killed. 
I got shot. I got shot when I was 16, the first time I got shot. You feel me? So that's the lifestyle that, you know, that's, that's out here, man. You feel me? You know, you could lose your life at a young age if you live in that lifestyle, you feel me? But now it's a different new day and age, you feel me? And, and what I will say to the young people is y'all can't have best of both worlds. You know what I'm saying? Meaning you can't be saying gang, gang and trying to portray the persona of somebody that's a gang member and not being from a gang. It ain't going to work like that. You feel me? And that's what I would say to the young people. If y'all watch this video, you feel me? Because what, what, what y'all doing is, what y'all doing is y'all inviting, y'all inviting the Crips, the Bloods, the South Side to do. You inviting the members to get at you. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because you saying gang gang and you acting like you you like you like you thugging and all that old shit. And then nigga get up on you and you talking about, oh, I ain't from nowhere and all that old stuff and all that. That ain't gonna fly. You can't have the birth, you can't have the best of both worlds. That's to the young people. You know what I'm saying? You not from a gang, you not gang banging. We're not telling you to be acting like Carton White. I mean, uh uh, what's his name? Carton on Freshman's of Bel Air. Nobody telling you to act like Carton, you feel me? Be yourself, but don't be trying to act like you a thug and you banging and stuff and you ain't really from nowhere and stuff, you feel me? Don't do that, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, you can't have the best of both worlds, young people. You can't be saying gang gang and you ain't from nowhere, none of that. It ain't gonna fly like that because the real members just gonna get up on y'all and they gonna be trying to see what to do. So that's what I would say to the young people if y'all see this video. And you already know, see, it ain't, and it ain't, you feel me? And see, that's another thing that I'm, that I'm seeing right there, too, because, you know, they saying because, oh, the Mexicans, they make videos on, on black people being black politics and all this old stuff and all that, you feel me? You know, I think one thing, niggas need to separate the both, you feel me? Because all real politics is done behind closed doors in the hood and all that. Anybody that's really from the soil, they know that. All real politics, all real politics, all real politics going behind closed doors or in the hood, somewhere in the backyard or something like that. Not on the YouTube, you know what I'm saying? That's number one. Number two, we on YouTube, we calling ourselves vloggers, YouTubers, whatever you want to call it and stuff. So when, when somebody get killed, and it's already in social media rotation and it's just part of the limelight, everybody gonna make videos, whether they Mexicans, blacks, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of YouTubers, you feel me? That's, that's on YouTube right now. Everybody making videos, doing whatever it is they doing. They carving their lane out. They doing whatever it is they doing, you feel me? I ain't got no problem with none of these YouTubers, none of that. They do what they do on their channel. I do what I do on my channel. And that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I want people to do. Don't be trying to make it like, oh, the Mexicans in black politics or the blacks in Mexican politics because real politics go on behind closed doors in the hood, in the backyard somewhere, not on YouTube. So y'all need to know that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they might make it sound good or they might, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, but no, nah, real politics go on behind closed doors. Facts. Period, man. I'm, 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 I'm just saying, bro, you know what I'm saying? Real politics going behind closed doors, bro. Of course, every once in a while, you might get the, uh, a bad apple uh, in the bunch or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's going on behind closed doors and shit, the real-ism, the real, the real, the real deal-ism, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? But people that get on YouTube, y'all the ones, not y'all in the comments, but the YouTubers, y'all the ones that get on here and speculate and make all these fake videos. Y'all got y'all nerves trying to be mad at S-Bone Curbside TV because I try to say, let the, the young life live. And y'all got all these other YouTubers making up these little fake ass stories and doing all these fake ass stunts to get views and all that. Man, y'all need to knock it off, nigga. Period. Like I said, I'm the only nigga on YouTube that shout out everybody, nigga. Of course, neighborhoods, nigga, the Hoovers, the Trays, the Bloods, the Pyros, all that, nigga, all the way down, nigga. California, nigga, I shout out everybody, nigga. I shout out all the races. Me, I do that, nigga. 
Not nobody else on this motherfucker. Because that don't mean that they ain't genuine, but that ain't they lame. That ain't what that ain't whatever it is that they trying to push out. I always been like this. This ain't, oh, I'm on YouTube now and I'm now I'm saying shout out the neighborhood, shout out the Hoovers, you know, you should be cool. No, I always been like that. I always used to try to get my homies that don't do shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm, I'm, nigga, I always just tell my little homies to get a job, nigga, fuck with these bitches, keep a hammer on you and all that, nigga. That's me. I'm that type of homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm the homie that niggas used to call, nigga, when the homies be trying to bully homies, nigga. I'm that homie, that nigga, that they call because I wouldn't let the homies bully the young homies. That's me. That's the homie I am. Let me say it in slow motion. I'm the homie that niggas call when homies used to be bullying homies. Because I wouldn't let the homies bully the young niggas. That's me. That's the type of nigga I am, nigga. I bully the bully. So maybe that's what it is. You feel me? Because all my life, them the ones that I contested. I contest all the bullies. Because the bullies, you feel me? They always try to do whatever it is they think they doing. That's why I hate when people say, if you hear somebody say, oh, they bullies and all that. Your answer better be like, nigga, I'm a bully too. Nigga, you a bully too. Everybody in this comment, you a bully too. You know what I'm saying? You don't never let nobody be like, oh, they bullies and all that. Nigga, y'all bully too. Whatever the next nigga can do, you could do too. Probably sicker. So that's what that's the type of nigga that I always been. I've been the nigga that always tried to encourage and build niggas up. Even buster ass weenie niggas, nigga. You don't beat them up. You know what I'm saying? You don't tear them down. You build them up. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you be having homies that really ain't really with the ism. You don't tear them down. You build them up. You feel me? That's what I always been about, building up. You know what I'm saying? Build up. These is all facts, honestly. Oh, right. Nigga saying Raider Nation. I'm at the block cause now. Rennie, look, like, what up with the neighborhood? Somebody in here saying, uh, not bashing? Oh, we, I love it. That's what I, that's what I need some of that in my comments, man. Let me, let me know I'm getting some weird shit. I love that shit. I love that shit. See, this the naps you talking about right here. A chunky ass NH. You across this out on my neck, bro? You'll cross this out on my neck. You'll cross this out on my neck, bro. That's how you feel. You disrespect me like that, my nigga. Like just cross my shit out. Hey. Ah, 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 ah. Hey. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You know, when a nigga go to jail and shit, and uh like, he go to the county jail. Like, as soon as you get in the county jail, like, you go through process. You might go to the 2,000 flow, 3,000 flow, 4,000 flow, right? But you don't know who up in the module, right? When you go up in there. I'm talking to the nigga that was saying that bashing. I'm talking to him specifically. So you don't know who in the uh, module, right? You know, when you go to the county, you know, you go to cell 40 and all that. That's if you really been in the county and all that. Then you understand what I'm saying. People that don't understand what I'm saying, catch up later. So, you know, you go through the process, right? And you in cell 40 and you wait for them to call your name, to call the lines out, take you uh, up north. I mean, not up north, but uh, upstairs, nigga, like 2,000 floor, 3,000 floor, 4,000 floor, probably. You probably was going to Twin Towers. You probably were. But I'm going to tell you, going to 2,000 2, floor, 3,000 floor, 4,000 floor, you go up in the module, right? And it's all enemies in that motherfucker. You go up in the module and it's all enemies in that motherfucker. You up in the laundry room and shit, waiting to go to your cell and all that. Niggas coming up in there in the laundry room hitting you up. I'm talking to the nigga that said not bashing. Niggas coming up in there hitting you up and shit. He probably one of them niggas that was like, yeah, nigga, you know, you saying a little bullshit. Then a nigga like me, I get to my cell, right? I just, damn, we just we just got there. I get to my cell. I don't got nothing to bust down to really end your shit, right? So I get like seven apples. I get like seven apples and put them in the sock, right? I get seven apples and put them in the sock. I get like 18 pieces of newspaper and roll it up and bend it down. A little more of the shit. 
Now I got me a baseball bat and I got me a, a, a sock with like six, seven apples in that motherfucker, nigga. Nigga, and I'm coming out like the gladiator man, nigga. You ain't never been through nothing like that. You don't even know what that is, nigga. That was to the nigga that was saying nap bashing. Because the only niggas that really ain't about that life get in the comments and be doing all that typing and all that shit. But what I just told you right there, that is real life shit right there, bro. Real life shit, nigga. Get your bars up, my nigga. Get your bars up. Get your bars up. My nigga said, lap K6, do no cut. Knock it off, no cut. That nigga from, man, that nigga, man, nigga, you a, knock it off. I ain't gonna even go there, bro, because I was finna entertain that, because I like that shit, you feel me? You know, I got, a, I got another one for you. Went to the 4,000 flow. See, I got so many different stories, I be feeling about it. I went to the 4,000 flow, right, and uh, 4,700, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. Nigga, I was in like, uh, they tried to put me like on, on, on Able, Able 13 or some shit like that. Like the last cell at the bottom in the back, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking to my cell and shit on hood. Nigga, walk to my cell. I ain't gonna put the nigga name out there. He from 11 dudes though, right? 11 dudes though, right? That nigga like, nigga. That nigga start dissing behind the bars and shit on hood. And he tried to spit on me. He tried to spit on me like he diss, And he tried to spit on me like... Phew. Dead homies, but he missed me. I was about to go back and forth with him like I was with you. And I was like, nigga, holler at me, nigga, when the gates open, nigga. Then my nigga Crazo from Roller 60s, he was upstairs. He like, what's that, cuz? This boy, I'm like, yeah, cuz. He like, oh, hood, uh, why they try to put you down there? You coming up here, hood? Uh? And they put me upstairs with the homies and shit. Yo, was just real life shit. I said that to say, I ain't no cell soldier, you know what I'm saying? But if I want to talk shit and go back and forth with somebody, I can because I know I can back it up. But I choose not to really do that, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you when you a different individual, you don't trip on that. Somebody want the fade for $2, cuz? Black Warrior, you got that fade, man. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that's about a thousand fades. All I need is five minutes on the water break. You already know. Much love. Appreciate the super chat. You know what I'm saying? You know we got to get down for that. I don't want your super chat, but you know we got to get down for that. So that's a fade with my boy. You feel me? Now, the nigga that said, now, you could at least pay me for a fade. You want a fade for free and shit. See, see the homie, he paid for his fade, bro. You want to get a motherfucking free fade and shit. Nice ass nigga. Type of nigga that want to hit your blunt for free and shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no weed or nothing. You type of nigga that want to hit a nigga weed and shit. Nigga, you wanna you wanna fight me for free? Ain't that a bitch? It's crazy, man. You niggas, you new niggas is different. Nah, I'm just fucking with y'all. Shoot the breeze, though. You feel me? But yeah, though. Like I said, there's no disrespect to the Mexicans. You feel me? To no Mexicans. You feel me? Whenever I speak on Mexicans, I speak from a respectful point of view, and I speak highly of them. You feel me? You know, I got plenty of videos on here, you feel me? I don't, I, I'm not with none of that, you feel me? But if you go on a lot of these other dude pages, go see they shit, and then you tell me, you feel me? Because niggas be on YouTube pump faking, man. I'm a regular nigga. I'm a regular nigga, you feel me? Like I always say, you're going to see me broke, rich, poor, sad, happy, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't make lives all the time, you know what I'm saying? The only reason why I'm making this because the little ism from yesterday, you feel me? Like I said, rest in peace to Money Sign Sway. Shout out to his family and everybody, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And, and we already know at the end of the day, whatever go in prison is going to go on regardless how we feel. So that goes without saying. But we just YouTubers and we just putting our little opinions in it, you feel me? That's it. I don't mean to ruffle no feathers, though. Shout out to everybody that's up in this live today. It's a lot of y'all up in here. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me. You feel me? I'm finna get my ass up so I can go get dressed, shave up, do something to this hair. You feel me? And hit these streets of L.A. You feel me? South Central Los Scandalous, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Same nigga. You know what I'm saying? It might be other people to change, but I'm the same nigga. Trust that. You feel me? Shout out to everybody.
protect your energy, stay focused, handle your business. Y'all already know what's going on with everybody up in here, man. Let me see. I see you goofy. I see all y'all up in here, man. It's a lot of y'all up in here. I can't even, I can't even read all y'all shit because it's a lot and that shit just going. Y'all already know I fuck with y'all the long way. You feel me? Miss Monique, I see you. You know what I'm saying? Stop the tattoos. No, nah, I ain't stopping the tattoos. I got, I got a few more tattoos I got to get. I got to get my back piece. You know what I'm saying? I got to get my back piece. I got to get my other, uh, my other, my other uh, logo right here. Cause I got the glove right here. I got the glove. I got the NH, and I'm gonna put the chunky ass LA right there. Chunky. I'm gonna put the chunky ass LA right there, so it's gonna be the LA neighbor foldies. You feel me? Then I gotta get my back piece. Then I gotta get a couple of more shits. I gotta get my lips done over. They don't show on my black ass. I gotta get them done over and shit. So yeah. Shit, I'm keeping the earrings in. Washington, I see you up in here, man. I see y'all up in here, man. I appreciate everybody that, that tapped in right here. You know what I'm saying? VC, peace. Peace to you too, my nigga. All right, so yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get on up out of here. Y'all uh, go go follow my uh, my Instagram, uh, S-Bone Official, I think. S-Bone something. Go follow my Instagram, please, and uh, enjoy this heat because it's Saturday. It's a nice day. Be safe. Be vigilant because, shit, fools going to always be fools, man. You feel me? So be on your toes, man. Be on swivel. Shout out to everybody. Peace and blessings, man. Shout out. Have a good day.